I'm Miss Di here from Di's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's called a swing card or a spanner card depending on where in the world you live I guess. Um, I put a, my swing or the A-frame piece across the front here but I've seen some people do it with um, acetate across here so I'm going to do mine with acetate across the front. So I'm going to show you how I made my card. And uh, it's, as I say, it swings. You can't see it very well from this angle, but you can see there you go. It swings like so. So I'm going to be using some new, nice new products as well as some carryover ones. So let's get started. Let's pop that one out of the way and I can tell you what you're going to need. All right, now I've got all my bits all here, all stuck in the section. So I, when I was cutting it out, I knew I had what I had. Okay, so you're going to need a card blank. That measures eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths and an insert piece that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths along with two pieces of design and series paper that measure five and five uh, yeah five and five eighths by one inch and a piece for the middle that measures five and five eighths by I can't remember. <laughs> Let me have a look. Uh, two and five eighths of an inch. So that's for the insert. So let's pop them on one side and we know where we're going. Okay, for the outside of the card, you're going to need a piece that measures, let's see, two and five eighths by three and five eighths, and a piece of designer series paper that measures. 2 and 3 eighths by 3 and 3 eighths. So that's for the front of the card. Then you're going to need two pieces. Well, actually, you're going to need four pieces that measure one and a half, or sorry, one and a quarter by 3 and 7 eighths. And then you're going to need four pieces of designer series paper that measure one inch by 3 and 5 eighths. There we go. And a piece of um, acetate, or if you want to do it in, in, in cardstock, this measures one inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. Now I'm putting a, a tag on the front of mine from, uh, from the tailored tag. So my tag piece come out of a piece of card that measured one and a quarter, in, uh, one and one eighth of an, uh, of an inch. Um, by two and seven eighths of an inch and then just a piece of scrap for my pink pieces on here so that's what we need for that and I've cut out four um, whatever you call these things holly leaves there we go holly leaves so they come out of a piece of card that I had a scrap and it was four by, roughly four by four so let's pop all these on the one side and we will bring in our scoreboard and we will score our card so we're going to score our card on the long side at the four and one eighth mark. I like the small end. Four and one eighth mark. Okay, so once we've done that, before we actually fold this, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our trimmer and we're going to pop this into our trimmer on the short side. And if you can see the score line, if not, if you want to score, just fold it so you can see your score line. I'm going to pop this in here at the oh, one and a half inch mark. I think that's right. Let me just get my piece of card and measure this. I oh, don't want to cut it wrong. Yes, one and a half inch mark. So we're going to pop this in here at the one and a half inch mark. And with our blade, now I'm going to stand up for this because... oh. I am going to stand up for this when I get out of the chair because I can see better. With our blade at the top and we're going to bring this in and we're going to score, let's cut this down to our score line here, not below it. So we're going to bring it down to the 4 and 1 8 mark. Now it's better to be a little bit above and then you just trim it than to be a little bit below. Then we're going to turn it over. And we're going to put it back in here at the one and a half inch mark again. 
and we're going to do that once again and cut it down to the four and the one eighth mark. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move these pieces out of the way and we're going to chop this at the three and seven eighth mark. I think that's right, yep. Three and seven eighth mark. So we're going to chop that middle piece off at the 3 and 7 eighth mark. So we'll measure our card up to the 3 and 7 eighth mark here. And, and then we can just chop that piece off like we did there. And we have then our swing part of our card that is that like, little bit shorter. So let's pop that out of the way. And I'll sit back down again. <clears throat> and bring everything back in so that I can see. Because when I got up I actually... Um, knocked everything out of the way so now we're going to burnish all our score lines across the top here like so and we're going to then start by putting our panels on the front so we have our four panels here and we only need two at a time but I should have uh, um, gone ahead and glued some of these down but I actually didn't think about it this morning when I was doing this which wasn't very clever I don't think but never mind so we're going to glue these onto this one now the reason I'm doing this in crumb cake this has got crumb cake on it and for my color creation that is coming up I needed crumb cake as well for that color so I decided to do two kill two birds with one stone so we pop these all onto here like so. And we might as well do our middle panel while we've got the glue here as well. Now remembering if you've got a a directional panel at uh, paper that you need to make sure you get your paper up the correct way. Okay, doke, so we've got those all on there. So onto our front of our card, on our little pieces here, we're going to put our two onto the front, like so. So let's glue those onto the front. Making sure you get your pattern up the correct way. And it's like me, I do have a directional pattern. <coughs> And I'm going to glue my middle panel on at the same time. So it just seems like it needs a little bit more of a, a crease across there to hold it down. So I might as well glue my front panel on there as well. And that's the front of the card done. Oh, that looks like it's sitting a bit wonky. No, it's not. It's just my my eye going wonky. So that's the front of our card done, and you can see that actually does actually swing really quite well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open our card and pop our panel on the inside. Our big, only because this will help to strengthen it before we go on with the the other pieces. And this is actually quite a quick and easy card and quite effective and can be used for many different um, seasons, you know, like for a birthday. I think it would make a lovely baby card with a swing in the middle with a, a nice um, baby's crib on it or something like that. 
So once we've got these on here, we will do our stamping. So that's that. That has actually given it a lot of strength now. So what we'll do is we've got those pieces there. We'll do our bit of stamping first. So we're going to stamp on our insert. And I'll just glue my little piece of this tag thing around here. Now this is optional. When you get these, um, these tags, these are tailored tags, you will see, oh God, I didn't even show you what we're going to be using today, did I? These tags come in a lovely array of sizes and shapes and you get these little bits that are for reinforcing the hole. And I think that's just really actually gorgeous. So let's see what that's like. And we're also, oh, I don't know what's going on with my TV. Um, we're also using the petal, point, poinsettia petals, which is where I got the um, holly leaves from. And we're going to be using the Happy Holiday down here and May Magic and Wonder Bloom this holiday. So let's stamp my pieces and now I'm stamping in um, crumb cake. So let's see how this goes. Oops, that came off the... <laughs> that wasn't very clever, was it? That came off. So I'm going to stamp Happy Holiday on our tag. And... We're going to stamp May the magic and wonder bloom this holiday. Oh wow, that looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? So we will pop this into the inside of our card. don't need those because there was just a few extras over so um, those for that. and now what we're going to do with this piece is we're actually going to glue this to the inside of the card here so I have some red liner tape this is really thick red liner tape and we just need to put a piece on here let's turn that around I've got a hair on that no wider than the section that we're going to be doing. Oh gosh, get off of there. It's not my favourite tape to use sometimes. And the same on the other end, making sure you put it on the same side. Don't do something silly and pop it on the wrong side. this red liner tape and this is a tape I hate because it sticks to your fingers it's so static and we're going to then oops there's a piece still left on there glue this to the inside of our card so that let's move this panel out of the way so that it actually comes along the bottom just the tinsy wincy bit up. Now in my case I, it looks like it's hanging off the edge there so I'm just going to trim that. That's it. Okay. And so that it doesn't look yucky on the inside like this here we're going to pop these panels over the top on the inside here. So let's glue them ones down here. And that also, without too much, it makes it just makes the inside look so much nicer and it's a lot more stable too. 
So that's our card. It's ready to, to use. And as you can see, the middle section actually moves backwards and forwards in the middle here. And we will now finish it off. So I've got this tag here that I'm just going to pop on here with some um, dimensions a couple of dimensions on the back of it here and I have a little bit of this because this colour here is called um, polished pink so I have some polished pink ribbon and I'm just going to pull a small amount off oh, well I am if I can cut it oh there we go and pop it through the hole in the, this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another dimension, a smaller one on the back of that over that piece there to hold it down come on, get in there <laughs> really not having much luck there am I so that's off both sides so that goes across there like so and pop them out of the way let's pop that in the middle with our happy Christmas happy holidays across the middle like this so now we're going to get our dimensions again and we're going to build up our holly on this edge along here making sure that we don't go over the um, this piece here at all so I don't think I'm going to need that other one no, three is going to be enough for there and then I'll have some, these are actually retired, these are from last season Christmas come on get out of the way you bits and pieces <laughs> and I'm going to put a couple of these big ones here to make it look like holly sitting on the end I'm going to have to put another dimension under that because that's sitting up and it looks weird sitting up that high so I'll pop that one under there come on get on there my goodness am I having trouble with this one today there we go looks a bit better let's pull that back off that there we go and it will sit down nicely now and we'll put another one right there and right there and that's our card for today well what do you think I think it's absolutely gorgeous we don't need that other holly leaf I guess we could pop them on the inside if we wanted to just to cover that piece up there which I might, I think I might do that. I might just stick that down on that section there. Just to cover my um, dimension showing there. So there we go. There's our card for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.